Okay, so looking ahead to this weekend, the first game is Italy back in Rome against against Ireland. Uh, Ireland will be smarting after that defeat. It's not what they were looking for. They were probably eyeing up a, a, a title, which of course they may still win, but they've, they've got to do the business against Italy. Italy will be smarting, and they want to play for 18 minutes, won't they? Mm. And, you know, it's, yeah, Ireland will be absolutely devastated, but it's, it's a classic six, six Nations, that first game. You just never know what's going to happen. Players have been apart for so long. Will they come together quickly and, and gel? Um, England clearly didn't. France did. Um, Scotland did, you know, that probably helps with the fact that they have a vast number of players playing for, for Glasgow. Um, but Ireland will be desperate to put it right at the weekend to make sure they get a bonus point win as well. will be crucial for them. They took a point out of the game um, at the weekend, but that's certainly not enough for them if they've got, and they do have, you know, dreams of, of winning another title. Yeah, interestingly, nobody got a try bonus point last weekend. So even though Ireland lost, if they can pick up bonus points in every game, um, and they beat England in, in, in Dublin, they could still win the well, title. Wales should have had a bonus point, shouldn't they? You know, the, <clears throat> when you go back and replay those, that last couple of seconds, only William goes for the, for the corner and loses it. And I think his teammates, you can see in the background, calling for the ball desperately, sort of, sort of no, no, we need it. So I think, you know, it'll be interesting to see the analysis for the Welsh team. I'm sure Lee will get a bit of stick there, but they'll be happy with the win, first and foremost. You know, against an Italian side who will also want to go out and cause issues and trouble for, for the Irish. Yeah, apart from playing for 80 minutes as opposed to 60 minutes, Italy have also got to do something about their discipline, haven't they? They gave away far too many penalties. Yeah, uh, and you know, at the highest level, those are the sort of differences that, that cost you, win you or, or lose you the game. Um, and, and for Italy at the weekend, it just kept eating away at the progress that they were making. Do something good, end up going back the length of the pitch so um, <clears throat> if they can address that they'll be in a much better position but really they you know my cat and, and Conrad Shane need to get to the bottom of how they get an 80 minute performance out of Italy not 60 because they have got some great players you know the half backs you know the 9 and 10 played particularly well I thought the weekend they're young but they look yeah you know they look comfortable okay uh, well the stats are Italy to win 8 to 1 a draw 39 to 1 and Ireland to win 20 to 1 on. That's pretty uh, uh, emphatic, isn't it, for an Irish win? Uh, and, and I think, uh, you know, having said that, obviously after predictions from the, the first weekend, nothing is, uh, is clear cut or, or obvious anymore. But uh, you would say that Ireland um, have, a, have a fairly easy game there and should dominate the Italians, especially on the performance that we saw from the weekend. Um, especially knowing that they will be desperate to go and claim a bonus point. Yeah, also on that point, they <coughs> are uh, 10, uh, 11 to 10 on to win by more than 22 points. That's doable. That is doable, yeah. I think that's a, I think that's a reasonable bet, actually. 22 points, so... I mean, Wales that? won by 30 points, yeah. and uh, they were 7-3 down at half-time. They yeah. won 33-3. Yeah, I think that's a very good bet. Yeah. Okay.